Okay, good morning everyone. All my Facebook family out there from all around the world. Uh, I just recently saw an episode, outtake of the TV show called Blackish. Now a lot of people want to say that that show is rather prejudicial, but let me explain. There's so much about blackness that has been hidden from the entire country and of course the entire world. In my humble opinion, after watching the movie Hidden Figures, America, you owe the black community in this country a major, a major an apology for keeping us out of the history books. And just as an example, here's some calendars that were put out in 1985 by Aetna Calendar. That's right, Aetna Insurance Company put out these calendars. And what were they put out for? It was put out to acknowledge the fact that during the entire history of America, there have been black contributions from medicine, science, everything you can imagine from farming to everything, aviation, not to mention music. Oh, those are just some of the elementary things. Those are called art, but I'm talking about the real learned sciences. And why did Aetna put this out? Because Aetna owed something to us too as well. Aetna was one of the biggest insurers of the slave trade back during the days of slavery. And everything that came across that ocean at one time or another, Aetna insurance had its hands in it. So what I'm asking, and what I'm wondering is, why is it that we have to just celebrate one month of black history when these calendars prove from 1985 to 1986 that everywhere throughout these entire calendars are nothing but things of proof that black people did great things, unbelievable things, historic things, not just boxing, not just acting, not just dancing, but really intellectual things, poetic things, amazing things historic things, battlefield things, like my dad, like my grandfather. That's right. And like yours truly, Eddie Conrad. Mine is nothing compared to all of this. Look at this. Over and over, every day. So why is it that we only have one, I mean one, month to celebrate black history when every day is something that the black community in this country, besides building the White House, Benjamin Banneker, and everything else that has been accomplished here, we've had some hands in lots of hands in. But until something comes up, they decide, well, let's release it now. And what has been shown about the story of Hidden Figures and Miss Katherine Johnson and the entire group of black women that were involved, known as the Human Computers, America, you've been cheating us systemically, inherently, by keeping us in the back rooms, or as they say, trapped in the closet. Well, please, isn't it about time if you really want to change this country since we got a new president coming in named Trump, I mean, excuse me, Donald Trump, which translates into German meaning dull. So let's put up or shut up. You want to make this country great again? Make us great again. Stop hiding behind the fact that everybody wants to have a tan, but nobody wants to be black. Everybody wants to be tan. They'll go to Mexico, they'll go to Cancun, they'll go to Jamaica, they go everywhere. But oh my God, once happens, once it happens past that tan, when we get into the brown skin that India Iri is singing about right now, things change. Things change dramatically. Oh my God, he's black. He's dangerous. Shoot him. Hands up, don't shoot. When is that going to stop? That's what I would like to know. So America, let's get and cease and desist with all of this BS about Black History Month. Make it black history every doggone day, just like you do with white history. It would be a better country if that would have happened here. You would raise the level of everybody here because everybody would realize one thing, that the term, the real McCoy, was a man that was black. That's right. He's the one that invented the gas mask that made people realize one thing. You can live if you got the real McCoy. Okay? That's the only way we're going to change things in this world and in this country. That's my opinion, Eddie Conrad. It's showtime. Here we go, folks. Ha <laughs> ha.